What's up guys, Sile Fantasia here uh, with another installment of the Allegro Game Programming uh, tutorial series and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about implementing backgrounds using tile map graphics. Um, in the previous tutorial I uh, talked about how to implement uh, backgrounds with uh, bitmap uh, graphics and um, in this tutorial I want to uh, go ahead and get started with tile maps and um, pretty soon we'll be able to start making some making some uh, some awesome games um, so with tile map graphics the idea is that all of your graphics are chopped up into small uh, fundamental blocks called tiles okay and the um, you essentially have a list of tiles in your uh, program and you're gonna call a function that essentially reads all of the tiles in your uh, the table uh, of your of your tiles and then it places them in the corresponding place on the screen so just to, I'm gonna clarify that in just a minute with a with an example because uh, tile map graphics can be a little hairy to understand at first so I'm gonna start with an example so with tile map graphics, you start with a grid, okay? So an array of uh, of blocks, okay? It's called your tile map, okay? So here in this example, we start off with an empty one, okay? And then you have a tile table, okay? So essentially, in our program, it's an array or a list of all of the tiles that we will use in this particular tile map, okay? And each one of these tiles have a number associated with them. So in this case, the number is the um, the uh, place in the list where the tile is located. So the grass is uh, zero, and the sky tile is one, um, the water tile is two, and the block up top there that you see is is three. Okay, so all of those tiles are, are going to be put in our list or or, not, or our array in our program and what's going to happen is that we're going to number our tile maps okay so each slot in our tile map will have a number corresponding to the tile that needs to be put at that location so for example the very bottom left corner is labeled zero which means that the tile uh, the grass tile will be put in that location on the tile map on our screen so when we put all of it together the resulting picture or image or background will look like this okay so that is essentially what what tile map graphics is about is chopping your the image up that you see into the small fundamental pieces these tiles and um, the the actual resolution of your of your tiles uh, actually depend on your screen resolution so if all of your tiles are going to be the same size, which you know normally they are, um, so for in our in our example, our screen resolution in the x direction is 800, and our y is 600. So an 800 by 600 screen. So if we want our tiles to fit evenly in our screen, we want to uh, um, divvy them up so that they have the same uh, uh, ratio of x to y. So for our example, our aspect ratio, which is uh, 800 by 600, is 4 thirds. Okay, it's a very common aspect ratio. So that means that our tiles needs to be a 4 thirds ratio as well. So what that means is that if you make a tile that's 4 pixels in width, then the height has to be 3. So for every 4 pixels, you have to add 3 to your height. That's essentially how you measure that. Um, so in this example um, so that I have here in my code I'm going to um, show you the tiles that I made um, this is Allegro sprite editor and um, you can get it from their site it's actually a very interesting uh, piece of software because you can you can actually uh, create your tiles using this um, so I chose my sp my tile resolution to be uh, 32 by 24 you can see that information down here 32 by 24 which will fit evenly in my screen of the game so this is the, a stone um, a stone tile 
and then here's the the uh, stripe tile that we saw in the example before and uh, all of these are just my tiles that I'm going to use in the uh, in the example and I'm just showing you what they look like um, and so in our program what we're going to have is this is essentially the same code as uh, previous um, the except the uh, bitmap um, code is gone the um, field is gone we're going to replace that um, with a tile background so the next question becomes how do we actually get our tile map image onto the screen and the way we're going to do it is with a function that I've uh, created and uh, I'm going to show you guys that in a second but first let me show you the tile table okay so this is our tile table it's essentially like I said the list of all of the tiles that are going to be used in your tile map okay these are the paths um, that um, that our tiles are located on their computer okay so um, so graphs 2 would be 0 and sky would be 1 and so forth and so on so here is the tile map and as you can see it is a two-dimensional array okay so it is an array um, of arrays 25 by 25 and the reason is 25 by 25 is because that's how many tiles we will have in the X and this is the amount of tiles we'll have in the Y so 25 tiles across and 25 um, tiles down okay and that will fit evenly because 25 times our screen or times our um, tile resolution will give us 800 and 25 times 24 will give us 600 so this will be our full tile map and with all our numbers in it and um, and when I call the function um, that I created that I'm going to show you in a, a second it's going to take these tiles, it's going to take all the tiles and basically did exactly what we did in our example everywhere where there is a uh, one is going to place a sky tile everywhere where there is a zero is going to place grass that's essentially what my function does and it's going to blit it onto a bitmap pointer um, that I pass to it so here's what the function looks like it's called draw tile map okay so it takes uh, a, it takes a, a, a matrix or a, a two-dimensional array of 25 by 25 dimensions and then it takes a tile table um, which is essentially uh, an array of paths and then it accepts a tile a bitmap so uh, you know a layer to draw it onto so essentially this nested for loop is going to go all the way through the tile map uh, both in the, X, the I and J directions and then it's going to take the tile reference as a as the uh, place where it is at the tile map and then it's going to get its reference by loading in that uh, the, the string the the path and then it's going to load in a bitmap um, and then draw or blit it onto the the layer the layer at that location and then it's going to do that for every single tile okay so here's what the code looks like um, I'm eventually hoping I'm trying to get all the code that I write on um, something like github so you guys can go get the code and try it out and experiment with it and this is what the uh, the function looks like and I've just implement I've uh, included it in my um, tile map header called tilemap.h uh, ideally you probably don't want to stick this entire tile map like this in your code uh, you usually want to put it in an include file and include it in your source code but that's just how I have it from now and so if we step through this code we've got the tile table and then the tile uh, this is a the, like I said the tile background is just a bitmap that um, that your tile map is going to get drawn onto everything else is is essentially the same so let's run this and as you can see 
this is what the this is what the what, what the graphic looks like the background so when my tile when my function drew my tile map it essentially replaced all of the numbers with tiles and that's what we have here it's pretty neat and uh just to prove to you to show you this is you know this is doing you know exactly what i'm saying i'm gonna change or manually change a number inside of my tile map and then rerun it these are this is essentially the the block the pyramid blocks that you saw i added another row on the bottom and now i'm going to recompile it and run it and it did exactly that it added the four uh, the five blocks down top down bottom so that's how tile map graphics is done you know like I said you know tile map graphics is not that you know easy to understand at first but um, but you know I'm here to make sure your code works you know if you have any questions you know comment you know PM me you know if you get any problems with your code you know uh, let me know give me a heads up and uh, keep checking back uh, for the answer. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. Um, next tutorial, I'm probably we're gonna get into uh, collision detection, and thus begins the real work. Okay, after we finish collision detection, we will have all the strong tools necessary to make uh, a, a game and I mean that that that's important because these are just the basics okay once we get into collision detection we finish that we will have essentially the tools we need to make more complex uh, code um, more uh, and elegant uh, games with that and um, yeah thanks guys appreciate it uh, I also want to take it the time out to uh, say thank you to the to all of the uh, nice comments about the the videos I know I haven't been here for a while I've been off and on with these uh, tutorials but for those who have stuck you know with me uh, I thank you I appreciate it um, and yeah I'll see you guys next video